hey what's going on family welcome back to the channel thank you guys for tuning in to another video don't forget to like share and subscribe uh, today we're gonna be making eggnog crown cake let's get into it all right so to your mixer you're gonna add in three cups of all-purpose flour now this recipe is really a holiday style recipe you can make it for thanksgiving christmas uh, basically whenever eggnog is around um now i'm gonna give you a little tip if you do have a publix uh, in your area you can get canned eggnog year round so this is that is a good substitute i've never used it for this recipe but you can try it um you're gonna go ahead and add in three cups of white granulated sugar and you're gonna add in three sticks of softened room temperature unsalted butter yeah i know that's a lot that's a mouthful but i, I gotta make sure you get it right because you don't want your cake to come out tasting salty go ahead and turn your mixer on and start incorporating your butter sugar and flour mixture you want it to come out kind of like a coarse sand looking texture basically like that um it should have a, some clumps in it. it's not gonna be too much and then you're gonna add in five yeah you heard me five large eggs it can be brown eggs white eggs blue eggs whatever go ahead and add your eggs in and you're gonna go ahead and start incorporating the eggs into your all right now from here you're gonna add in one third to a one half cup of you guessed it eggnog uh, you want to get your batter to start getting a you know a more watery consistency move away from that coarse granulated mixture you're going to add in a tablespoon of almond extract you're also going to add in a tablespoon of vanilla extract listen get that almond extract i didn't find i didn't know about it until recently um but it does change how your food tastes it tastes great go ahead and get your pan um go ahead and lightly butter it lightly flour it preheat your oven to 325 put it in now i'm going to give you guys a recipe for the icing because i forgot to record it silly me um and it's actually a very simple icing while your cake is baking for about an hour to an hour and a half at 325 you get you a uh, you know wash out your mixing bowl add in confectioner sugar and eggnog and you just mix it in and for my people who like uh you know a little alcohol taste to it you can add in rum coconut rum or really any any type of rum you want and there you go boom eggnog pound cake don't forget to like share subscribe try out the recipe and let me know what you think we'll see you in the next video thank you so much